Hello all, welcome back in this special series of introduction to system Verilog assertion. In the last video, we had a discussion about SVA building blocks. Over there, we discussed the concept of sequence, how to write sequence, then the concept of property, how to write a property, how to assert a property. And then we discuss how we can write the sequences with the logical operators. Now in this video, I will be talking about the concept of implication operator with respect to system Verilog assertion. Okay, before that, let me show you the sample code. So what this sample code is all about. At every passage of the clock, we are checking if the value of x is high. After a delay of two clock cycles, the value of y should be 1. We are writing this particular statement inside a property and in property definition. Then we are asserting that property. And here we are writing the action block, meaning our own custom messages. If the assertion is passed, we want to print the time and then a message property P1 is succeeding. Else, we are printing the time and a message property P1 failed. Okay. Let me show you where the action block will execute in the SV system very long given schedule. So if you see this event scheduler, system very long given schedule. Three main reasons are there. Those are uh, in which a so assertion is associated. Rebound region, observed region, and reactive region. Okay. So in the rebound region, sampling of the assertion we can in the observed region evaluation of assertion will happen and in reactive region you will find the evaluation of an action meaning of our own custom message as we wrote over here and remember this action block is not limited to just displaying success and failure messages it could be used for other applications as well such as controlling the simulation environment gathering the functional coverage data and so on. Okay. So remember these three reasons pre pond observe, reactive reason in which the assertion is associated. Now let me show you the waveform for that assertion. Over there we wrote every passage of the clock. If x is high after delay of two clock cycle y should be high. Let's analyze the waveform for that. So as you can see, the assertion is are failing over here. Why? Because the X itself is low. Okay, so here at this passage of the clock, you will find the value of X is zero. Here also, the value of X is zero. And in the next clock cycle, the value of X is zero. Hence, you will find the assertion is weak. Now let's try to understand here, the assertion is starting blue square box is there. So at this passage of the clock, the value of x is 1. After delay of 2 clock cycle, you will find the value of y is 1, right? Hence, the assertion is passing over. You will find green triangle. Similarly, in the next clock cycle, the value of x is 0, hence the assertion is 1. If you analyze here, the value of x is high. After delay of two clock cycle, the y value is one, hence the assertion is passing over, and so on. And if you analyze the assertion tab over there, you will find we have 24 failure count and 6 pass count in this paper. So, this is what that assertion. And if we are writing our own custom message, you will find the console results something like that. 
So whenever the assertion is failing, you will find the fail messages and then the time at which the assertion is failing. Similarly, for whenever the assertion is passed, we will find the succeeded message over there in the time for that. But this is what the console result if you are writing the action block or our own custom messages whenever the assertion is passing in the field. But the problem with this kind of assertion is that if the value of x is becoming 0, then you will find the error messages over there when the assertion is fit. But let's say if we want our design or our protocol says that x can be low. Okay. If you want the value of x can be low, we can't achieve that with the help of this hash hash operator. Okay. So for that we need to use some kind of gating techniques. Let's try to understand what is that. So to avoid these errors, some kind of gating techniques needed to be defined, which will ignore the check if a valid starting point is not present. So the system very long assertion as we provides a technique to achieve this goal. And this technique is called as implication. The implication is equivalent to if then structure. <laughs> I will explain you with the help of sample code and code. In SVA, there are two types of implication operators are there. First one is the overlapped implication, or you can say same cycle implication. And another one is a non overlapped implication. You can say next cycle implication. So if you see the sample code, the property and the property definition. When writing at every passage of the block, if A is high, this is what the same cycle or overlapped implication operator. In the same block cycle, I want B should be high. And this is what the next cycle or non overlapped implication operators. So at every, at every passage of the block, whenever A is high, in the next block cycle, B should be high. And remember the left hand side of this implication operator meaning this A is referred as antecedent and the right hand side of the implication operator is referred as a consequent. Okay. So left hand side is the antecedent and the right hand side of this implication operator which may be either overlapped or non-overlapped. The right hand side is referred as a consequent. The antecedent actually is the gating condition. If the antecedent is succeeded, then the consequence is evaluated. Okay, so this is what the antecedent and the right hand side of implication operator is the consequence. If the antecedent does not succeed, then the properties assume to succeed by default. Okay. So here, in case of implication operator, let's say A is itself is zero. So by default, it assumed to be succeeded. Will not find any error message over. And this is called as vicarious success. While implication avoids unnecessary error messages, it can produce vicarious success. And remember this implication construct can be used only with the property definitions. We cannot use this implication operator with the sequences. Before the sampling code and waveform, sample code and waveform, let me explain you how you can observe the waveform. So for observing the waveform, you need to consider this following part, following points. View square represent assertion starts. Green triangle represents assertion pause, red triangle represents assertion fit. And concurrent assertion is based on the block cycles. So for that you need to remember for concurrent assertion, which uses the value that are sampled in the pre pawn region of the event should be meaning just before the passage of the block. And these are the main reasons okay, in which we are checking the assertion. So pre pawn observed and reactive reason. Let's try to understand the 
overlapped implication or also referred as the same cycle implication. So for that, let's try to understand with the help of the sample code and waveform. So in the property and in property definition, I'm writing at every passage of the clock. Whenever A becomes half, in the same clock cycle, B should be half. Okay, then I'm asserting this property and writing over our custom messages over. Whenever the assertion is passed, I want to print the time and the message property B when it's succeeded. Else, many. If we get this condition is not satisfied, we'll find the time and message like property P when it's failed. Let's try to understand with the help of this sample wave. So at every passage of the clock, first we are checking the value of A, meaning this antecedent. So here, if antecedent itself is zero, we'll not find any error messages, meaning we'll not find that red triangle which represents the fail of the assertion. So here, in this first three clock cycles, okay, this first three passage of the clock, the value of A itself is zero, meaning the antecedent itself is zero. Hence, we will not find any error messages over. It means by default, it is, you know, considering it as a succeed one, and which is re uh, referred as a, uh, you know, this by case. <laughs> Now here at this point, you will find the at this passage of the clock, the value of A is high. In the same clock cycle, the value of B is also high. Hence, this condition is satisfied, meaning this antecedent and consequent both are satisfied. Hence, you will find the green triangle over here, meaning the assertion is passed. So you will find this green triangle, right? Maybe the assertion is passed. <laughs> Similarly, here, whenever the antecedent itself is low, you will not find any error messages over. Let's try to understand here. At this passage of the clock, the value of A is high, but in the same clock cycle, B is low. Then the assertion is failed, you will find the red triangle. Next, here also. At this passage of the clock, the value of A is high, but in the same clock cycle, the value of B is low, and the assertion is low. Let's try to understand this condition. At this passage of the clock, the value of A is high, in the same clock cycle, the value of B is also high, you will find the green triangle, meaning the assertion is false. So remember here, in case of application operator, whenever the antecedent itself is low, it will by default consider it as a you know, succeed. Meaning you will find they will not find any error messages over here. You will not find any red triangle whenever the value of A is becoming C. So by default it is like back yes. Let me explain you uh, with the help of this some you know console output. So as we are writing here, the action you know meaning our own custom message whenever the assertion is passing and failing. So if you see and analyze the console result, you will find the message is something like this. So whenever assertion is failing, you will find the time and the message like property P1 is failing. And whenever the assertion is passing, you will find the time and the message like property P1 is succeed. So over there, if you analyze, you will find three succeed messages, three pass count over there. So three pass count, and if you see the console result, you will find this three, you know, succeeded message one, two, and three, and you will find failure counts are seven here. So if you count these failed messages, you will find it is seven. Let me explain the next implication operator, which is non-overlap implication operator. It is also referred as an next cycle implication operator. So here in the property and end property definition. I'm writing at every passage of the clock, if A is high in the next clock cycle, meaning this is not the next uh, cycle operator or non overlap operator, B should be high. And I'm just asserting that property P1, writing our own custom message. So whenever the assertion is passed, I want to print time and the message property P1 is succeeded. Else, whenever the assertion is failing, time and the message that property P1 is failing. So this is what our sample 
simple fashion work which we have just arrived in the past famous Sautia session. If you realize this waveform, whenever this aim, any the centricity, the center is low, you will not find any error in this figure form. You will not find any red triangle. So the first three throughout cycles, you will not find any error in this. Here, whenever A is high, in the next clock cycle, we want B should be high. So, at this portion of the clock, as A is high, in the next clock cycle, you will find the B is also high. Hence, the assertion is passing. Whenever A itself is low, and the antecedents itself is low, you will not find any error messages. Now, here, if you see, at this portion of the clock, A is high. In the next clock cycle, B is also high. Hence, you will find the green triangle with the assertion is passing. Similarly, let's try to understand here that this positive degree A is high and the next graph second B is high and the assertion is passed and so on you can analyze. So this is what the next cycle implication of the problem. We are checking the antecedent and then the uh, evaluation of the consequences happen in the next degree. And if you analyze the console result, you will find messages like that. Whenever assertion is passing and fading, you will find some messages in the time. So if you count the pass, passing messages, succeeded, succeeded messages, you will find the pass count is 6. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And failure count, counts are 4. Okay. You can analyze this you know, console result in this assertion time. If you compare the same cycle and next cycle implication of data. So if you are writing the same cycle implication with hash hash one data, let's say, and the property in A and property definition, if you are writing it every passage of the clock, whenever A is high, and then in the same clock cycle, after DD of one, B should be high. And in other property, if you are writing at every passage of the clock, A is high using non overlapping implication of better B should be high. So both are same only. Okay, so overlapping operator with a delay of one and non overlapping both are equal. Okay, and this is what our own custom is. Let me explain you the console result and waveform for this both assertion. If you analyze the, this both assertion, you will find the results for these both assertion will be same. So it is like saying, whenever the value of A itself is 0, you will not find any error messages, any, any red triangle in the way. It means by default it will succeed and this referred as a case success. Here at this passage of the clock, whenever the value of A is high, in the next clock cycle, B should be high. Okay. Hence the assertion is false. So if you uh, consider that first assertion right at, at every passage of the clock if a is high in the same clock cycle after delay of one b should be high so it is same as non overlapping implication of that and you can analyze the waveform so if you analyze over here the same cycle implication operator with the delay of one is equivalent to non next cycle implication of okay. you can analyze the waveform data and if you see the console result, you will find the you know message is something like this. So whenever the assertion is passing, you will find the message. Assertion is you know, even property succeeded. You will find the time. Whenever it is failing, you will find property even is failed. And if you count the pass and failure count over here, you will understand. So pass counts are six, so one, two, three, four, five. 6 and failure count, counts are 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is what the simple explanation for implication operators, same cycle, next cycle. So with this I hope you have understood the concept of implication operator, how to write a code and how to analyze the waveform by that sample code and sample code. And also I hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you.